Hi, and welcome to a new Translate Press tutorial. Today we will talk about localization. Localization is the process of adapting your website to a specific language, locale, and local market. This entails implementing a series of steps on your part. But lucky for you, Translate Press helps you out with most of them. Let's jump straight in. First and foremost, let's tackle content translation. To translate your website into a secondary language, you'll first need to install Translate Press. To install the Translate Press plugin, you need to go to Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Then search for Translate Press and then click on Install. After the installation is done, don't forget to activate it. The next step is to go into Settings and add the language we want to translate the website to. After you click Add, you need to save and that is it. From our front page, after we've selected our desired languages, we need to click on Translate Page. That will load up Translate Press alongside a website preview. Now at the top, you'll see the two languages we've set up at the previous steps and I will already switch to Spanish just to get the visual feedback when I make changes. Now to translate the text, all you need to do is hover on a string of text and click on the button next to it. Then you can enter the translated text and click on Save Translation. Another way of picking an item to translate is by hitting Next in the sidebar. In this case, that will jump to the next string of text. We then repeat the same steps and hit Save Translation. We can also pick items from the dropdown. Let's skip the next string of text and choose the button. We insert our translated text and click Save Translation. Translate Press also has the option to auto-translate a website using either Google Translate or DeepL. For more details, check out the video linked in the right corner. Because sometimes images can have text on them, we also need to replace them as part of a translation process. Translate Press has the option of loading a replacement image. It works in the same way. Hover over it, click the button, Go to Add Media, select the translated version of the image, and click on Use this media. After that, click on Save Translation. As you can see, now we have the translated version. This functionality is only available with a SEO Pack add-on that comes with a Pro license of Translate Press. So once you've purchased your preferred plan and installed the Pro version on your website, you can activate your SEO pack by going from your dashboard to Settings, then clicking on Translate Press. From there, go to the Add-ons tab, select the SEO pack and click on Activate. Once you've activated the SEO pack, you can immediately see at the bottom there's a new option called String Translation. I can also change the meta description of my landing page by going into the drop-down list. Paste in the translated version and click on Save Translation. I can also change the landing page title in the same manner. Just type in your translation and click Save Translation. From the String Translation tab we have the option to change a lot more. We can change categories. You click the category you want to translate, type in your translated version and click on Save Translation. Post slugs for example, click on a post. Type in your translation, click on Slave Translation. Apart from translating your content, in order to take your localization process even further, there are some other steps you can take outside Translate Press. You can adapt your date and time format with the local standard, convert to local currency and units of measure, or even modify some of the content to suit the habits and culture of your target market. And that is it. That's how you easily localize your WordPress site. For more useful tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and like if you found this video helpful. For a more in-depth look, make sure to check out our documentation. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching.